You are watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. announced earlier today that Banco Central ng Pilipinas Governor Benjamin Jocno would be the chief of the Department of Finance under his administration. Marcos Jr. made the announcement in a sit-down interview with select members of the media. Meanwhile, at a press conference held a day after his proclamation, Marcos also disclosed that Felipe Medalla would succeed Jocno in the BSP. Jocno took over as the BSP governor in March 2019, taking over the post left behind by the late Governor Nestor Espinilla Jr. prior to his appointment to the BSP. Jocno served as Secretary of the Department of Budget and Management under President Rodrigo Duterte's administration. Meanwhile, Medalia has been a member of the Monetary Board since July 2011. He was first appointed by the late President Benigno Aquino III and was given a second term by Duterte in July 2017. Medalia also served as Secretary of Socioeconomic Planning and Director General of the National Economic and Development Authority from 1998 to 2001 during the administration of former President Joseph Estrada. President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. has tapped Fred Pascual and Manuel Manny Bonoan to lead the Department of Trade and Industry, or DTI, and the Department of Public Works and Highways, or DPWH, respectively. He also announced this during a media conference. The Commission on Elections has released the list of 54 winning party list groups which will be proclaimed today. Included in the list are progressive groups Kabataan Party List and Gabriela Women's Party. The Intertropical Convergence Zone or ITCZ is affecting the southern section of Mindanao. Davao region will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to the prevailing ITCZ. Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms. On Wednesday, Pasay City records 41 degrees Celsius heat index. In the port area in Manila recorded 40 degrees Celsius. Highest heat index recorded yesterday was 50 degrees Celsius in Katarman, northern summer at around 11 a.m. Kathiel marks 10th anniversary in Thailand. Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla traveled to Thailand to celebrate their 10 years of being a couple in the most unforgettable way possible. On May 25, the actors shared a set of photos of them connecting with elephants in Chiang Mai, Thailand as part of their anniversary celebration. Catherine thanked Danielle for making time for them on their trip and for making her feel loved and appreciated. Recently, Danielle has revealed that he is ready to marry Catherine and that he wishes to do so before he turns 30. Meanwhile, Catherine said that they had planned to marry at their current age but chose to push it back to a later time. Kate Moss testifies in support of Johnny Depp in defamation case. Kate Moss testified by video for just three minutes on May 25 in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial, dispelling a rumor that Depp had pushed her down a flight of steps when he was her boyfriend in the 1990s. The supermodel told the court in Virginia that she and Depp had been in a romantic relationship from 1994 to 1998. Moss said Depp had not pushed her down the stairs, asked if at any point in the relationship he had pushed her in that way. Kate Moss said no. She said that Depp never pushed, kicked, or threw her down any stairs. Amber Heard's attorneys declined to cross-examine Moss and she was told she was free to go. That's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to Global Daily Mirror YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Leslie Ordinario. Good afternoon.